Hello everyone, welcome back to another wire wrap video tutorial. My name is Jim McIntosh and today this is what we're making. We're going to make this wonderful, wonderful pendant. Nice statement piece. Uh, very easy to make. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Just has nice little simple setting, some wraps, excellent project. You can do so many things with it. I made mine and in this project we're going to make this into a square. But you can make it any shape you want. Triangle, circle, oval, whatever you want to do. You can adapt this very, very simple uh, wire wrap project to accommodate any shape. You can also even change the way you want the stone. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do. Now all of the things that you're going to need for this project are down in the description. All of the tools, all the materials, where you can get them, uh, everything you need is right down there. So check it out. Okay. So we're going to be using this stone. This is about an inch and a half long stone, maybe, a, yeah, it's about an inch and a half, and it's probably about 33, 32, 33 millimeters long. And we're going to start by making the setting for this. That's the first thing we want to do. To do that, we're going to use 18 gauge square wire. That's going to make up our setting. We're going to cut three wires. Two of them we're going to cut are going to be three inches long. That'll give us enough wire to be able to uh, make the setting for this. So two of these at three. So there's one and here is number two at three inches. Now the other one is going to be that wire that kind of loops through the top of the piece. It's going to be considerably longer. I'm going to make it nine inches. I don't have my, yeah, let me grab my measuring tape. And I'm going to make it nine inches in length. Okay, so here's my third wire. And it's going to be about 90. Now you can make this wire longer if you want, depending on how big of a piece you're making. I just need enough of this wire to make that very decorative uh, section in the center of the frame, uh, the looping section of the piece. So I'm just going to straighten my wires out. And we'll do the same thing with the 3 inch. We'll just make sure they're straight. And the last one here. And we're going to put these just like this. We're going to secure these together with the long one in the center and then the two three inchers on the outside. And we're going to secure them together with painter's tape one. So let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and we'll secure these together. And I'm going to take the long one and I'm going to put one of the shorter three inch wires on the outside of it. I'll take the other one and do it. And I want to take all three of the ends and I want to line them up even with one another. And when I get them evenly lined up, I'm just going to take my painter's tape and put it across all three wires. So now you'll notice I've got the two short ones on the outside and this long wire here in the center. And we're going to do the same thing uh, at the other end. And I always just kind of run my fingers up and we're going to put it right here towards the end of the short ones. This will hold our wire bundle together so we can work on it. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cut and wrap area right here in the center and that's going to make up the prongs. So you need to find the center of the three inch wires. So obviously the center would be at an inch and a half. So I'm going to take my fine tip permanent marker and I am going to make a mark there in the center. Now from this mark, we're going to make a mark to the left and to the right. And that it all depends on how big of a stone we're using. Now remember I said this was about an inch and a half stone. So for a stone about this size, I'm going to make a cut and wrap area at about a half inch. So I'm going to line up my... my uh, ruler here and I'm going to put it at a quarter of an inch and then I'll make a quarter inch to the left of center and a quarter of an inch to the right of center. This is the area that we're going to wrap. And we'll, and I'm, but before we do that we're going to actually use a file 
and we're going to cut this area away just slightly. We only want maybe maybe a quarter of a millimeter. I mean, it's not much at all, but we're making an area, first of all, that's going to be a little rough, so it's going to help prevent the wires from sliding around. And we're also going to make it so it's got some shoulders on it. So this area that kind of comes up, that's going to help secure the wire there in the middle of it as well. And I always kind of, this is a, a flat hand file that I'm using, and I take the edge, one of the edges of this, and I actually make a couple of passes on that edge where I'm going to start and where I will end my wrap. So you see that bright spot there? It's just a thin spot. And I'll do the same thing over on this side. I'm going to just, where I'm going to stop, I'm going to just make a couple of passes. Now I'm using a, this is a sanding block that I've got, this rubber sanding block. Uh, I just use this uh, to get this, first First of all, make it easier. To, I'm usually at, off my bench doing all of this at the edge of my bench. Uh, but since I'm doing it on camera, I'm going to be doing it right here. Now, I'm going to take the thin side of this file, and I'm just going to start just filing away that area in between the two uh, marks that we made that signified the start and the stop points of our wrap. See, I didn't take much off. I kind of turn it around also to make sure I've got a flat, even file. And that should be about it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all we've done. Just straighten it out a little bit. We just made just this cut area. You can't really see much of how deep it is. But you will, when you when you actually make one of these, make it yourself, you'll be able to tell that you've cut some of it away. The next step would be to wrap the area. To wrap this, we're going to be using, I'm going to cut a piece of this off, but it's an 18 gauge half round wire. And I'm going to be using my wrap maker pliers. So all I do is I'm going to now position my wrap makers where I want to start my wrap. So this one mark right there. And I'm going to take the wire and I'm going to insert it here in between. So I'm going in between the jaws of my wrap maker pliers. But notice it's right here at this short area. There's no groove or anything cut in these pliers. Uh, the pliers just are simply just made just when you're holding the the bundle with the longer tips right here. It creates this little, I don't know if you can see that, but it creates this little opening in between the jaws of the pliers. When I push that in there, that holds on to the wire so that I can do this. See, now I can just make my wraps. It's very, very simple. It's a great tool. You can get a pair of these yourself on my website. It's the only place right now that you can get it. Soon they'll be, uh, we'll be getting these out to some distributors, but right now this is the only place that you can pick up a pair of these. And they're great because they, you, it gives you the ability to hold on to the bundle as you're wrapping. Even after you've started the wrap, uh, these are great, and the, the offset helps you to make that wrap easier. So all I'm doing is just wrapping this center section until I get to the other side. And you want to set this wrap. And what I mean by setting is you're going to take your pliers and you're just going to squeeze it tight against the bundle. See, and now we can just cut off our excess wire, and I always cut my excess wire off about the center of the bundle. See, so kind of cut the tip right about in here. Do the same thing on the other side. Kind of get it close to the center. And there you have it. 
You know what? What I like to do also, and you know this is not necessary, but I like to make sure I've got a really good secured uh, wrap here, very secured. Um, so I get my bench block out, and I got my bench block on a couple of cloths to kind of dampen some of the sound. And I take, oops, as I drop things, I drop my, <laughs> drop my mallet. Uh, I just put the cut ends against the, the metal, the bench block, and I just give it a few taps just to make sure it's nice and hard and that it's in there, it's not going to move. Okay, now that we've got all of that done, we can get some of this stuff out of the way there. Uh, we can take our tape off. It has served its purpose of holding this bundle together. And let me tell you something. When you've got wires all over the place, you really want to make sure you've got some painter's tape to be able to, to uh, hold your bundle together and to keep your wires in the right place. So now that we've got the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the setting made, whew, tongue tied here, I'm going to take, I'm going to bring the prong wires, that's the shorter three inch wires, they're going to be our prongs, and I'm going to bring them out about 45 degrees ish. Uh, I know we don't have a very wide stone, so uh, we're not going to, the setting's going to be a little narrower, but we'll figure that out in just one second. So what I like to do is I like to take just a, a narrow piece of painter's tape, and this is the cut side. This is where I did my filing. This is where I cut the wire, the wrap wire ends. I like to go to the outside, the side that everybody's going to see. And I take just this thin piece of painter's tape, and I like to adhere it right onto the wrap. And what I do is I take my stone, and I set my stone in front of me, and I'm going to center this. I'm going to use this middle wire to kind of center everything uh, in that way, and then I'll take the painter's tape and I'll center it this way. And once I figure out where it is, I kind of stick, stick the tape to the stone. Looks about right there. This is going to allow me now to flip the stone over and I can kind of see where I want to set my prongs and then I'm going to mark them. Okay, so it looks looks like we're, yeah, looks like that's where I want it. So to make the prongs where we're going to bend them, I'm going to mark where the wires, these prong wires come out from the stone with a sharpie. With a, nice fine tip permanent marker and I'm just going to mark each wire where it comes out from the stone I don't know if I marked that one or not, let's see I may have, yeah I did and then we'll do this last one so we should have four marks now on here and double check Yep, each prong has a mark. So now we can take the tape off. Take the tape off. It has served its purpose as well. Set our stone aside. So notice I have four marks, one on each prong wire. Now I'm going to take my, you can use flat nose for this. I, I always, this is the only thing I use anymore is uh, these wrap maker pliers because they serve both as flat nose and um, uh, wrap makers. So I just take, I grab it at that mark, and I'm going to bend this toward me, just like that. So I'm going to make this nice bend. And I like it kind of squared as well, but we're going to bend this wire. And this is going to be the start of the setting. So go to this next one, do the same thing, and then the bottom two. We'll bend, and the final one, as soon as I get my pliers in the right spot, there we go. So now let's see if I got it right. <laughs> you should be able to put your stone in, and each of the prongs should fit squarely underneath. So once I get these situated here, I'm going to kind of bring them up over the stone a little bit, just so that we can hold it in. So if I sit, look at it from the side, you see how it's it's nice and squared up underneath. 
Uh, and we get this one we might be able to, I'm not going to do too much of this because I don't want to break my stone. Be very careful with your pliers around the stone to get things uh, settled in. You don't want anything to break and you don't want your, uh, you don't definitely don't want to chip the stone or scratch it or in, in any way. So just be very careful. So I want to cut some of this wire away because we just have way too much for our prongs. So I always kind of just just clip some of it here. Just a little bit of this off so I can see what I've got a little better. Okay. So I just cut them a little shorter is all I did. And we're going to now bring these to a final setting, even though we're not going to set them. And we need to trim them down. I always trim them down about a couple of millimeters above the stone. So that's a couple of millimeters just above the stone. And now once you cut one, you have to kind of get them all the same. It's better to cut too long than too short. So if you're nervous about doing this part, uh, cut a little off and then, then cut the rest off as you go. Uh, trim it a little bit at a time so that you, you know, like this one, I cut too long. So I'll cut just another, maybe another millimeter off. Yeah, see, so now all of them should be about the same. The next thing we want to do, now this is optional. You don't have to do this part, uh, but I like to clean these edges up on this. Uh, and, and if you've seen any of my uh, prong set videos before, I always use a flex shaft. And what I do is I have a, a wheel. Let me grab one that's not on here. I This is a diamond silicone uh, polishing wheel and these things are great uh, because what they do is they will shape this and it also polishes it as you shape it and I always do this with all of my uh, prong settings so let me do that right now first I want to get the stone out so don't leave your stone in so I just open two of the prongs and then I can take my stone out and now I've got my prong setting here and I can work with it without doing anything to my stone. So let me grab my flex shaft right quick. Okay, so I've got my flex shaft here and I've got my, cut my polishing wheel in here. And what I'm going to do is, what I want to do is I want to, I like to put like a nice curve in there. And I do it with this polishing wheel, but you can also do it with a flat needle file and if you use a flat needle file all you're doing is you're just going to shape the end of this give it a curve you only want to take some of this off but we're going to it, it takes a while with with a, a needle file uh, but you can get a nice shape just by taking a little bit of time and just shaping this end I find that this polishing wheel does the work a lot faster and gives me a nice polished edge. So let me let me do this right now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use it. I'll show you how to do it. I'm not going to show you all four, but I'll show you how to do it on the just a couple of these prongs. Here we go. Okay, so this is what you get. You get this nice, smooth edge. 
All right, and this, we're not gonna set the stone yet, but this thing is all set to go. So the next thing we're going to wanna do is we're gonna start building the frame for this pendant. But if you put your stone in, you'll kinda of see that it's going to definitely be a much better shape for this particular stone. It's gonna really go over that. It's gonna look really nice when we're finished. So let's set this aside. And let's start building the frame. So what I've got here is I've already pre-cut and straightened a 14 inch piece of 18 gauge wire. This is probably going to be more than we need unless you're making a really, really big one. And that's fine. You can make as big a pendant as you would like. Uh, but this I'm going to find the center of. So I got my tape measure out and I'm just going to make a mark on this wire right in the center of this. So right there at seven inches, I've made a mark. And now we've got to determine how big of a, uh, how wide of a, of a pendant we're going to be making. Now, this is how I do it. Now you can take a piece of paper and you can kind of draw out what your frame is going to be and how wide it is based on the stone and how you want the stone. Now, you can put the stone in any position that you want. See, but I want to make one that's going to kind of look like this. Now, in between this space, it's one inch. This is a one inch marking. I've got this uh, Fiskars. I, I bought it at just a, a store. I, it's just a mat that I use. It's got nice measurements. It's used for quilting and for uh, other things. I'm using it here to determine. Uh, I, I like to use it because it protects my, my work surface, but I also liked it for figuring out my my uh, uh, measurements and things. So I want, I'm going to want this at about an inch wide. And I want my stone to kind of sit like this. Uh, and that's going to allow the swirls, as you saw in the sample before. You know, those nice swirls. So about an inch wide is where I'm going to do it. So that means that I want to take, and I want to take that, that center mark that I made at seven inches. I want to line it up with the half inch mark. And I'm going to make two more marks on here. I'm going to make one to the left of it a half inch and then one to the right of this center another half inch. That gives me an inch wide. Yours could be wider. Yours could be slightly narrower. Uh, whichever you want to do. We want to make sure we can accommodate the stone. And you can put the stone in any way that you want. Uh, you can even do it sideways like this and have a nice big wide. It's up to you, okay? Uh, but I just just because I like the way it's designed, I'm going to set mine offset like that. So what do we do with these marks that we just made? These are going to be our bend marks. So since our piece is going to be an inch wide, we're going to bend the outside of these arms on this frame at those marks. So there's one, and then we'll do the same thing over here. And all I'm doing is I'm just I'm lining this up where I want to bend it, and then I'm going to bend the wire since it's a nice long piece of wire. And we're not looking for exact, we're looking for pretty close. Now as you're doing this, get in the habit of squaring things up. As you go, after each wrap that you make when you're connecting the stone, straighten your wires out. This is going to help you maintain that squareness. Now, you'll notice right here, I can see it. You might not be able to see it very well, but it, it, I'm always looking. This is not very squared. And so I always take my pliers, and I, if, if it's kind of getting bent funny, I squeeze it to make it squared again. And then this is kind of a rounded edge, and I don't like that either. So what I do is I take my pliers, and I squish that bend point. See, and that makes it a little squarer there. See, so that's all I've done. So this is nice and squared up. And let me show you, this is kind of what we're, we're looking at right here. We're looking at the stone sitting in here, about like this. And I want it within the frame. 
Okay, can you see that? So now that we've got the start of our frame, let me straighten my wires a little bit here. Now that we're at the start, what we want to do is we want to add this part into the equation. So temporarily put your stone back in and we're going to make sure that the way we do this, that we always keep the wire and the stone within the border. So we want to use attach this and this to the frame. So the first one we're going to do is, is we're going to we're going, notice, let me kind of backtrack here just a second. So this one's going to go here. So it's going to loop this way. This one's going to get attached right here at this bottom portion. So to do that, we're going to bend it. We're going to start bending this so that it will conform to the area that we want. And just takes a little bit of time, just kind of spend some time. And keep your wires squared also. Sometimes square wire, if you if as you're moving it, it has a tendency to do this kind of rolling thing a little bit, and then you end up off the edge. And we don't want that. So okay, now we can straighten this out. I have to trim this wire just ever so slightly. Yeah, there we go. So that's where we want that one. So I'm going to trim this just a touch. All right, no, you know what? I'm not going to trim this. I'll show you why, because I'm going to use it to, as a decorative part of this. So let me straighten my wires up real quick. And you know, to keep this, all of this stuff straight, this is something else you can do is the side that is going to be, well, take, take it and just tap it with your rawhide mallet. After you get it squared up, tap it with your rawhide mallet. What this does is this hardens the wire. Not a lot, but enough where it's going to help keep its shape. So I'm just going to kind of go up these wires about three or four inches. And people say, well, why don't you use half hard wire for this? I never use half hard wire because half hard wire is so difficult to work with. It's extremely hard on your hands and your fingertips, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, it is very hard on your fingertips. So. This should have hardened it. Yeah, this has given us just a little, little firmness to the wire to make it a little stiffer. And that's going to help us. All right, so what we need to do, now do is, now that we figured out the bottom section of the, the frame, my stone came out because, of course, it's not set. Um, we're going to wrap these two together, but the other thing we want to do is this top part. And I'm going to make a nice curl in there to bring it into, into this. So now I'm going to wrap it here, and I'm going to wrap it down here. So now that we know, now that we've got these where we want them, we can take the stone back out. And we're going to need some more painter's tape. So we're going to take these small pieces of painter's tape and we want to temporarily adhere the frame, the, or the, I said it backwards, the setting to the frame. And I always like to kind of do this. Sometimes it doesn't always work the way you want it, so you just got to kind of so we're going to start with the easy one first. I think that's this top one. And what we're going to do is we're going to... So I want to wrap right here in this area. So I have put it above the area I want to wrap in. And then I'm going to... This 
This one I'm going to hopefully... Yep, there we go. What I want to do is I want to take a piece of tape and I want to tape it here at the end. Kind of do my best to just hold it together a bit at this end because I want to wrap right in here. Now, wrapping these, since it's such a small, tight area, can be difficult. It's easy if you practice, but it's also if you take your time. So don't rush through this. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of half round wire, and I'm not going to use a huge piece, maybe about a five inch piece or so. And I am going to set my wrap maker pliers right where I want to start my wrap. So right here is where I want to start. Right there. Now, because we've got all of this stuff in the way, sometimes you have to kind of bend your wire the opposite direction as you would think. Normally we want to keep it curved uh, so that we can put the... Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I just wasn't sure if I was in there or not. Now I want to take the wire and I'm going to poke it through the opening. And then I'm going to start the wrap. So there's my first wrap. And as I'm doing this, I want to curl it out and curl it into the center. And I'm going to make about mm, three or four wraps. That's number two. And here's number three. And I'm trying to make these relatively tight. Now also, you also may want to look at where it's at. Now that's, that's an okay position for me, but sometimes you need to just kind of take the wrap wire and just move it in a little bit. Now the, the end, the little tail that we started with, I'm going to push it to the back of the piece because we're going to trim everything at the back. And I think I'm going to put one more in here. So I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to just kind of ease this guy into the middle. See, it's not hard. It's a tight spot, but it's possible to do, all right? So flip it over and we're gonna trim off our excess. Remember, we always trim it about half the width of the uh, frame, so the section that you're, you're wrapping. And we'll do the same thing with the little tail. This is our starting point. We will trim it off. And then we're going to set everything in place. So then give it just a, making sure first that that's where we want it, which it is. For, uh, on my, in my case, it is. Okay, so there we go. So we've got this set. So let me flip it over and show you what we've got. So now remember I said, oh, I'm going to hold on to that little section. So I'm going to take my tape off. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a curl. Just going to curl this in towards the center. You see how this is going? It's real simple, nothing difficult. I'm going to make a curl. I may have to trim this wire still, but this is a nice little extra curl. And this is going to do a couple of things. Uh, it's going to help keep our wire where we want it, but it's also going to add that decorative element that we want. I'm going to trim it just a, just a tiny bit there. See, so that's what we start with. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here at this curve. And I'm going to grab another short piece of wrap wire. And I'm going to do the whole process all over again. Real simple process. Make sure though, before you do any more wrapping, that everything is straight. You do not want anything to be kind of in a wonky position or messed up. Yeah, I use that technical term, wonky. Um, you want to make sure everything's still squared up like you want it before you start another wrap. So now we're going to place these where I want it. 
and I'm going to take my wire, I'm going to insert it in between the jaws, and then I'm going to start my wrap. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna do about three. So there's one. Here's number two. And all I'm doing is feeding it in there. Two, and then I'm gonna have to move this tape because it's is it in my way? Yeah, it's kind of in my way. Get out of my way, tape! Oh, look at what you did. <laughs> The tape is not being cooperative, so we're going to have to make it cooperative. There we go. <laughs> hey, look, this is this is all just, this is art. Art shouldn't be serious. Art should be fun, and what you're doing should be fun. So don't, don't overstress on this. So they've got two, and I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to do a third one right in here. So we're going in the middle. And there we go. That's three of them. Then we're going to take that first wrap that we started. We're just going to tuck it in behind. And then we're going to look at the back and we're going to trim these off. Actually, I'm going to set these first because uh, you don't want it to move out of, out of place. So make sure you got it where you want it. Set it. Just giving it a squeeze with your pliers. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Now let's go to the back. And we'll trim some of this excess wire off. So about half the width. Do the same thing with the little tail. About half the width. Get all that out of the way. And then we're going to push those ends down so that they are nice and flat. Look at that. That is what we've got so far. And all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to keep doing this. See? I'm just going to keep making my curves. So I'm going to curve down nice and deep. Now, I want you to make sure. Now, if your wire does start to roll on you, you can take your flat nose or take your uh, flat nose. You can do flat nose. But I'm taking my rat makers. Let's get this stone out of here. And I just gave it a bend. And now I want to bend, make another curve. See, now I use my fingers when I make my curves and things. I use my fingers. I pinch it where I kind of where I want to curve at. And then I just bend the wire around my fingertips. See, so now I think that's where I want the curve. And I gotta figure out how I want the curve. I think I want it. See, so I'm checking everything to make sure everything's square. So you wanna square up the bottom again. Because this is going to move. As you go, this is all going to kind of move out of the way. But if you keep up with it and keep checking to make sure that you are squared, you see how. We're still at that one inch, okay? So this is the next point I want to do, is I want to do this right here. And I'm going to wrap this exactly the same way. This time I'm not going to use tape, though. Uh, let me cut a piece of wrap wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the wrap maker pliers to kind of hold these together. Where I want to start my wrap is right there. See, so how look, notice how it's holding those two pieces together. And then if I take my, my wrap wire, I insert it in between the jaws. There. I keep wanting to push these further for some reason. I don't know why. And then I'm just going to put it in between. And I'm going to gently make about... Yeah, this one might take about two or three. So there's one. And then here is number two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do I want to go with two? Let's do three. I, I feel more secure with three, personally. Uh, there, that's three. 
And we're going to take and push this guy back to the back. There we go. And I'm going to do this until I run, either run out of wire or I get to the length of, of a piece that I want, meaning how long I want my pendant. If I want a really super long pendant, I mean, I'll, I'll keep going until, uh, until I get to that length I want. Um, but if I'm not looking for a long pendant, um, and then I'll do it, you know, to a certain length. And 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 a, it's kind of hard to explain. It's you know that's that whole artist thing. You know, you just use your own thinking on this. Use your own. See, so as I'm going, see so, you now what do I do if? If I came out a little bit, well, that's the good thing about checking this as you go. You see, that bend that we just made here, I can push this in and bring it square once again. And I can do the same thing here. I can make this a tighter, sharper bend. And that brings us right back into square. And we're going to have to kind of just... Just move, maneuver things just ever so slightly. So I'm going to hold onto this. I'm going to go there and there. There we go. That should have brought us right back into square up to that point. And the bottom of it, the bottom of it, I'm not really happy with how it's not squared. So what I want to do is I'm going to persuade it a little bit. There we go. Just tap that back into place. Straighten these side wires out again. And that's why I want you to make sure that you continue to uh, straighten things up as you go and just check to make sure. All right. The next one I want to do is I want to show you that you don't always have to attach the bends. So I'm going to make kind of an open bend. I'm going to going to bend it. See how I use my fingertips to bend it. Now you can use round nose to make your bends. Or you can use something else that's round. You can use this to give you your shape. Uh, I've just, be over the years, have just gotten so in the habit of not doing that and just using my fingertips. So brought this around and now what I want to do is I want to hold on to that bend that I just made and I'm going to bring it back to the opposite side and I'm going to kind of just fiddle with this bend just a little bit so you see how I made this bend and it's not attached to anything but what I am going to do is I am going to attach it on this side. See, so that added a slightly different design element. And I need to square up my wire. So let me get in here and just start to roll on me. There. And you'll notice it as it's rolling. You'll notice that it's done that. It kind of looks weird. And just kind of fix it up. So we're going to then secure this right here. Again, another piece of wrap wire. So I don't want to continue boring you guys uh, as we go making these various curls and loops and watching me attach each and every one. So I've sped it up just so you're not so bored with it. Uh, but really, all you're going to do is continue to make these curls and attach them to the sides. Uh, once I get towards the end of this uh, looping wire, I'll cut back in and we'll talk a little bit about how to finish this piece up. So just enjoy.
All right, so here we are. We're just now finishing up on this, this last loop. So I've got all of these wrapped in here, and this is the last part here. And I want to kind of just bring this just kind of just gently figuring out what I like about this or what I want to do with this. I think that's what I want to do right there. Just keep it simple, right? All righty. And check these wire ends, any of your wire ends, just to make sure that they aren't scratchy. So, this is what we've got. And it's all bent up and strange and kind of has a mind of its own. So all we have to do is just take some time here and straighten it all back out. And there is what we have. And all we have to do now, let me put the stone in just to give you an idea and my prong moved when I was doing all of this one of the prongs moved in so let's kind of move it back out a little bit there we go just to be able to get the stone in see so this is what we are looking at and some of this stuff I, I still have to straighten up and I'll do a lot of this you know again the bottom just kind of came out of square like I didn't want it and some of these things now, a lot of times you can straighten some of these wires out just by grabbing them with some pliers and just kind of pushing them flat again just squeezing it and that will flatten a lot of these wires right out there 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 we go so now we need to make the bale and we'll do that right now. So for the the bale, what we want to do is we want to, on this one, since I want it to be square, I'm going to bring these two long pieces. I'm going to cross them over one another into the center. And I'm just going to do it, I'm going to do the side that I know, I know, the, I know that I want it above this. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it, pick a point just above it, and I'm going to square this just like that to the center. And I want a nice square, just like all the rest of this, the bottom part of this, I got a nice squared off edge. And I want to make sure that it is level. And then I want to do the same thing with this side. So now that I know kind of where I want this see I, I can where they intersect I am going to then just bend that one also to the center and square it up as well the interesting thing about making these squared up is that and one's lower than the other one. Do you know? Do you notice that? Let's fix that. This happens quite often when you're trying to make these squares. What I like to do is I like, since I've only got to go maybe just a couple of millimeters, I will go where the bend is. I'll do it backwards for you so you can see it. So I'm just going to grab the bend right here, and I'm going to squeeze it, and that will undo that bend. And then I'm going to be able to re make the bend. So now I can do the same thing on this other side. I can just kind of squeeze that bend and now they should be parallel. They are. See, so all I did was where it's squared off like this, I just put my, my wire, my pliers into that bend and I squeezed the bend flat and then remade that bend. So now that we know kind of where everything's at, we know this is about an inch. See, so we're going to measure and mark these at about a half inch. So I'm going to set this down because I want to center the uh, bale on this. So we're going to, so we're at one inch. So, whoops, moved everything out of the way. Here, there we go. We're about one inch, and I'm going to make this an inch, a half inch rather. We'll go to the back now. We'll mark the back wire at a half inch also. 
Okay, so the front and the back of this is now marked. Now, we don't want to go right on this and use that mark as the center point, meaning I don't want to be right there on it. I want to make the bend a little bit in towards the corner, just a little bit, because what we have to do is we have to make this wide enough for both wires to sit next to one another like this. They're going to sit next to one another. So I'm going to go to the right of this back one, just a, about maybe a half a millimeter from that mark. And I'm going to push the wire toward the top. Let me square it up and I'll show you. See, so that's all I did. And I'm going to do the same thing with the front wire. So I'm going to go just a, about a moon, half a millimeter from that mark, and I'm going to then go up. And this, <laughs> look what I did. But this will hopefully put them right next to one another in the center. If not, you're going to have to f kind of play around with these to get them centered up. Because we want the bale to be right in the middle. And all I'm doing is I'm just, and I, and you see, I, I think I'm off. I think I'm ever so slightly, no, believe it or not, I am right on the money. Wow. Usually I have to fiddle with it for about 15 minutes to get everything where I want it. Uh, but it looks as if I got that one right in the middle. So I'm gonna take a piece of painter's tape and I'm going to hold these ends together so I can do some wire wrapping. But I'm going to take this painter's tape. I'm going to go out a bit from here. I'm going to go right about, right about two inches away. Make a little flag like that. So now I've got them both together. And now I can kind of see exactly what I've got, how I can square all of this up. Okay, so that's what we're working with. So to make the bale, I'm going to wrap this, these two wires together. I'm going to make about an inch and a half wrap from the top of this. So I'm going to mark this out. So I'm going to mark this right here at an inch and a half. And I'm going to take a nice long piece of wrap wire. I'm talking maybe maybe eight, maybe 10 or 12, 14 inches long, probably pretty, pretty good size. See, I got a nice big chunk of wire here. And we're going to take our wrap maker pliers. We're going to hold them where they, just above where they come together. And that's where we're going to start our wrap. We want a couple of millimeters space from there. And actually, I want probably about three millimeters of a space. And you'll understand why in just a minute. But let's let's start this wrap. So I'm about three millimeters above, and I'm going to insert my my wrap wire in here, and I'm going to start my wrap just like I would. And I'm going to wrap this from here all the way up to that mark. So here we go. All right, so we're here towards the end. I've only got a couple of wraps to make. I, I do as I'm going, about every five to seven wraps, I like to set it in place because I, I don't like it to spread. So here we are, we're right here at the mark. So last one, there we are, and we're gonna finish it on the back. So here's the front of our piece, because I know, because my prongs are facing me. So I have this so that, um, and you always wanna make sure that your uh, wraps are are even also with each other. Okay, so all I'm doing is say that, and I'm going to take our first one. Now, notice I left a gap here. I, I think I'm going to make one, I'm going to undo one of these wraps, because I want a good space here, and you're going to see just why in just a minute. Now, I'm not cutting anything except for my starting piece, this little piece here that's closest to the bottom. I am keeping my wrap wire on there, and I've got a pretty good chunk of wire. 
And what I'm going to do is I am going to you can take your tape off also. But I'm going to make a bale. I'm going to form the bale. And I like to I, I like to kind of figure out where I'm at, right about the center here. And I've got round nose pliers, and I'm just going to bend this back. And what I want is I want where the wrap is, I want it right down here at the bottom where these two pieces come together I that's where I want the that extra wrap wire so I'm gonna just shape this so that that wire and what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to undo just one wrap because I want to what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna incorporate this into the wrap. So where the two wraps come together, that's where I want to be. See where the see I've got, how I've got that. So so both the wraps are right there together, next to one another. And I'm going to take. Make sure you've got your prongs upward. I'm going to take this, and I'm now. You know what? Before I do that, I want to squeeze the two of these together so they're flat. So all I'm doing is I'm flattening this long wires that were part of the bale and I'm going to squeeze them together right there at the bottom. See you now they're nice and flat. You see that? And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to wrap the front and the back together. That's why we left that gap there. So I'm going to make two. Here's a third and I think I can sneak a fourth one in there. Now, what do you do if you did not have enough space there? Well, you can undo some of those wraps that you started at the beginning. I'm going to finish this at the back of the piece. And I'm going to trim my wire there. I'm going to push it down just a little bit. Now I want to set this. And this, since it's, it's four wires essentially together, you kind of have to set this like a square. Like it's a square, not a rectangle. And now, there. See, so that's our bale. See how that worked out? We just kind of make it look good. See, so that's our bale. And we can open this up a little bit so that it's better. But what I like to also do is these wire ends, I like to bend them upward. So I'm going towards the top of the bale and I like to trim them right about in here and then I like to push them against the bale just like that you see how it's and what that's going to do is that's going to secure your bale it's a nice tight bale now and it's also going to hide those cut ends uh, from the wrap. It's going to hide them there. Now, all we have left is to set the stone. And that is very, very simple to do. Let me kind of do a, just a little bit of housekeeping here. I'm going to straighten some of these wires up just a touch. Okay. All right, so now we're going to take our stone, if I can find it, there it is, and all we're going to do is we're going to set it in, and we're going to use, again, wrap maker pliers, and we're just going to push it up over the stone. Again, please, please, please be extremely careful around your stone. You do not want to chip it. Now, I did this top right one. I'm going to do this bottom left one. Push it up over the stone. And then we're going to go to the bottom right one. And we're going to push it up and over the stone. Let me... There. And then the last one is the tough one. It's the one that's right up here. And that's one you kind of have to get to it from a strange angle here. There we go. 
you want to make sure they're all kind of pointing towards the center. And that is what we have all finished up here. Got a little bit of things, got a couple of things I need to fix. A couple of places I need to kind of straighten a little bit. But for the most part, I think we are all set. And there you have it. Polish it up, it'll look great. That was such a very simple project, and I'm sure that you enjoyed making this. And I'd really like to hear what your thoughts are as far as what you've done with this particular project, all right? So, again, my name is Jim McIntosh. Please visit us again. Check out all of our other videos. Check out the channel. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the like button. I always love to hear the, the, see the sum, thumbs up. And I want you to remember this. Practice, practice, practice.